We only drank what we thought was necessary to survive. <laughs> when you travel the world for a year, you see and experience so much. And we want to share our daily travels with you. Unfortunately, a hard drive failure means we have to tell the middle a little bit differently. So, welcome to Storytime with the Happy Hoppies in this edition of The Lost Episodes. So this morning, before going on to Mumbai, we had to go ahead and pay our bill. And since the credit card machine wasn't working yet, it meant we had to go down to an ATM, pull out the cash, and pay the hotel. And it's fine, it, it all worked out. Then after paying, we just hung out in the little dining area for a bit, took our laptops out, got a little bit of work done. And then, we headed down to a bus station. Because, we, so when we were there, we really wanted to get the experience of riding on one of the Indian trains. Yep. Um, they have, I think, the biggest train network in the world because uh, it's a huge country, right? Yeah. So we wanted to do that, but since it was around the holidays, everything was booked out for like another week or so. Yeah. We didn't want to wait that long. We needed to kind of keep moving, keep things on track. So we'd be able to hit a bunch of other countries too. So anyway, we looked at airplanes and the airfare was like $100 per person or so, maybe more than that. I think it was more, yeah, because it was around the holiday season when Indians are all traveling as well. Um, and it's a large country. You have a lot of people traveling, and so therefore um, the planes were more expensive and the uh, trains were all booked out. Maybe there was one ticket in like first class, but I don't think there was, or if it was, it was even more expensive than the train than the airplane. Right. So we looked at buses, because people are like, oh, you can take an overnight bus down, and that's, I think we had talked to our hotel maybe and asked them about ways to get down to Mumbai and recommend trying an overnight bus. And they have like sleeper buses, so you sleep supposedly. Anyway, so we looked it up and it was like $30 per person. So like 60 bucks for both of us to get down to Mumbai. It was supposed to be like a 24 hour bus trip. I think in total it took about 28 hours. And even if you just drive a car, I mean, it's a 20 hour drive. So right. with stops, I mean, that's, it's acceptable time, I guess. So yes. it's, it's a long ways. It's very long. Okay, so we weren't really sure, you know, what to expect. And so we got some groceries and got lots of water because we weren't sure, you know, if we would have a lot of time at the stops to like buy more water. So we had enough water with us that we would need um, for the entire trip. And right before we got on the bus, their little like bus station had a toilet. Um, but again, it was just uh, the, the toilets that you see in public areas where it's just basically a hole in the ground. You have to squat as far down as you can to avoid your pee coming back up at you because this is porcelain and so it just bounces. So squat down as far as you can and bring your own toilet paper. So I had that covered because I, I wasn't sure what the bus would have. I, I figured they probably would have like a bathroom, you know, because it's an overnight bus. There was no bathroom. No bathroom for 28 hours. On the bus. <laughs> on the bus. Now, so we got on, I think it was like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. When we realized there was no bathroom, we only drank what we thought was necessary to survive <laughs> because we didn't want to like chug a bunch of water that have to go because you you can't okay so they didn't stop too often they really so, did it especially since it was an overnight bus yeah um, and actually it was funny too because when they were loading up all the passengers they also had a bunch of packages that they were shipping on down in mumbai so it's kind of a dual purpose bus where they're taking passengers and freight so that was fun. I don't know if, I think we might have been putting some underneath and then some on top. I don't know where all it was going. I thought sleeper bus, oh, okay, like you have a seat that you can like, you know, lean back. No, like in Europe. That, that's not what a sleeper bus is. A sleeper bus is um, you have on the bus, you have two layers. You have like a bottom bunk and a top bunk, full size on one side, a twin on the other side, and a very narrow aisle between them. And you have a privacy curtain. Okay, so we chose the very, very back. And it was really good that we did that because um, then we were able to take our bags and like put them by our feet because our privacy curtain wasn't as big as the others because we had um, like metal on part of the wall and our bags were behind this metal, not behind like a privacy curtain where you can just like, you know, open it and like swipe the bags. 
So we're just like conscious of that while we're traveling and uh, it was it was really good that we were there because we then felt like we could actually sleep. sleep. Yeah, if you had that option, um, booking in the very back is, is good. The thing about the back though is with this bus, it was an older bus and so it was rattling the entire time. Yeah. So by the time we got off, we felt like we were still kind of being rattled. At least I started feeling sick from it. it was I so did. Bad. Yeah, because you, I mean, oh. 24 hours of kind of just old, you know, car just kind of rattling the whole time. Yeah, I'm getting honestly sick to my stomach just thinking about it. No, because I mean, it wasn't like a terrible smell, but like there wasn't a good like ventilation system. Um, you, we had a very tiny like window to kind of look out and like see, and you had to sit up to see it. And could you sit up? I could sit up without touching, but I no, think you I, had to. Yeah, I would have to slouch. So it was, I don't know, three, four feet tall by like four or five feet deep. Yeah. And then like another four or five feet probably wide. Yeah. Something like that. So it was a small little cubby, but I mean, it was it was doable. And it was actually had it on the bottom and they had like a little pillow for you to use if you wanted to, too. Yeah, and we got our, our sleeping bag liners out and we did sleep in those um, that time because uh, we just weren't sure how how clean these were based on, you know, how we had seen the previous couple of days them cleaning the bathrooms. We just didn't know, you know, how clean and we didn't want to risk it, bed bugs. But it did seem pretty clean. And it was interesting, they had like an extra space they would sell in the the bus and it was a mattress that was in the middle of the aisle at the back so whenever we would like you know open our curtain there was like someone else like sleeping sleeping right there we're like oh hi we were and the, i think it was one of the bus drivers because they had like a I couple so. of them so that they could switch on and off so you know one would be driving one could rest for a little bit yeah. and that way they're not falling asleep at the wheel which is good so i appreciate that yeah and we were the only westerners on the bus so that was definitely an interesting experience and so finally, I mean, at some point we're gonna go to the bathroom, right? I think we had one stop that we didn't get off at, and then the second stop was around nine or ten o'clock at night. And so it was pitch dark outside. I don't know what city we were in, um, and we had we both had to go to the bathroom pretty bad at that point. So we're like, well, we can't just both get off because that would that would leave our stuff on the bus here. So we'll take turns. But we didn't know how long they were gonna stop there. So Peter goes first to search for a bathroom. Yeah, so, you know, at first we were talking about, okay, well, who's gonna go first? And we decided that I would go first so I could go find something for her. I went out and checked a couple of different bus stations that were there and asked them if they had a bathroom that I could use or my wife could use. And they didn't have like a bathroom. They just, they're like, no, 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 no bathroom. And they point outside. Like, just go around the corner, go down this alley, just pee against the wall kind of thing. <laughs> or just find some rubble and just take care of business out there. <laughs> that's easy enough for him. So that's, that's what, what I ended did. up doing. <laughs> Went back into Lisa, I was like, I gotta hurry up and do this because she needs some time so she can go take care of what she's gotta do. So then I came in, switched off, and then she went out. Well, yeah, but he told me, Lisa, there really is no bathroom. And I was like, I am going to find one. Like, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and I said, too, I was like, you know, it's kind of dark alleys and there are people out there. And just, I wasn't just be about careful. to go in an watch, alley. Watch yourself. I said, just be careful. Because it was like a little bit of a sketchy area. Like, we it both. It was a little rundown. Yeah, we, just yeah. Don't, we both didn't feel like the most safe there, but you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta go potty. Okay, so <laughs> I just got off and I again looked and I asked people and they said no 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 I'm like come on these people are going to the bathroom somewhere like I felt like if they see me they'll be like oh yeah sure you can use our place I don't care what it looks like I just need to go to the bathroom and I was like are you kidding like I'm I'm gonna have to get back on this bus now because I don't know how long it's gonna be here for and I don't want to miss it but as I was gonna get back on the bus these two other Indian ladies came behind me and they said you need a bathroom and I said yeah and so I just like turned around desperate, you know, because I'm I have to go to the bathroom. So I turn around and I go with them, and then I'm thinking, they said, oh, there's this hotel that said we could use it. And they spoke a little English, like one of them spoke a little bit of English. And all of a sudden I'm like walking and I'm like, kind of like in my back of my mind, like having my guard up a little bit. Cause I was like, wait, how did they know I was looking for the bathroom? Were they even on that bus? Like they came up behind me. This is a little bit weird, but I really have to go. Ladies took me into this hotel. And then they went to the second floor and they had me go first, which was like so sweet. Like I was in the back of the line. Like there were three of them ahead of me and they're like, no, no, you go first, you go first. And I'm like, really guys, you can go, like this is fine. And then they made, they like made me go first in the bathroom. So that was just like super sweet, just like showing the kindness. Um, I felt really just like spoiled, really, honestly. So then I went to the bathroom 
And it was a nice bathroom. I think it actually had like a legit toilet, maybe. It was just lit, so maybe that was what was nice. It wasn't a, it wasn't in a dark building like the previous times we had gone to the bathroom while traveling in India. So anyways, I get out and then I was about to just like, you know, walk back to the bus. And then they're like, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Like, and so they wanted to walk back with me. And I was like, okay, this was kind of a sketchy area. Like I might as well just wait for them. They know the language. I, at that point, I already trusted them. Um, and so then I did wait for the three of them to finish going and then um, went back. At this point, we've been, I've been waiting for a while. And one of the bus right, drivers- He did not see me get back on the bus and then go back off. Yeah, you so, might have started stepping on, but not to the point where yeah, I could see you down the yeah, aisle. Yeah, he did not see me. Yeah, so anyway, and we didn't have a way to communicate because I was the only one with a SIM card. She didn't have a SIM card on her phone, so it's not like she could call me or text me. And so I'm get, starting to get a little bit concerned, like, okay, she hasn't been back in a while. The bus driver actually turned on the bus and started rolling a little bit. So I went up, I was like, wait, wait, my, my wife's not back on the bus yet. Hang on. Yeah, and so at that point, we you know we were um, halfway back to the bus. We heard it. We heard it on. We you know started like trotting back and um, got back on. And I thank those ladies. So thank you, whoever you were that came on the bus. You know, because they finally they were also asking around. They found a hotel. They must have seen that I was asking around, and like I went back on the bus. You know, they just could have gone to the bathroom and just left me alone. But they came on and got me. And so. That was really nice. I'm very, very thankful to them. Um, I, again, just like, you know, it's important when you're traveling to like have your guard up a little bit just because you don't know the situation, you don't know the language, you don't know the culture. But, you know, also just like trusting people too is also important. So there's that there's that balance for sure. Yeah, um, just gotta read the person. Yeah, and are you, so. Are you getting good vibes or not good vibes? Yeah, yeah pretty, pretty soon I, I trusted them and like just thankful that I got to relieve myself before the, we actually fell asleep. So then, that was like 10 o'clock and then we fell asleep and you know, we just like slept in because I had tried the previous day to like get some work on the, on the laptop because I had charged my battery fully but it was just way too hard and too bumpy um, and it just, you just feel tired, you know, we hadn't really eaten that much or we weren't really drinking that much because we didn't want to have to go to the bathroom. I think the next day then around, two o'clock, we go to the bathroom for the second time. And that one, I went first, and it was actually at like a gas station, and so it was more like That's there was right. a bathroom right there. And so, again, I just waited in the line, but it was a longer line, you know, people, all, everyone else on the bus had to go, because it hadn't really stopped, I don't think, since that 10 o'clock at night. So, that was a long time to wait, like two o'clock in the afternoon. So, then, um, oh, I go to the bathroom, and then I come back, and then Peter goes, and again, the bus almost was starting before he was back on. So then I was in the aisle, wait, 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 wait. And then Peter, I could see him running. So um, then we were okay. But yeah, they don't really give you a lot of time to, you know, both of you to go. So gotta keep moving. yeah, I gotta keep moving. Um, so we definitely were dehydrated once we got to Mumbai. And then, can do. and then we actually chugged all the water that we actually had brought with us. Cause I think I don't know. We had bought like several liter bottles, and I honestly I think, think we had we... five to seven or something crazy. Yeah, and I think honestly we didn't even drink a whole liter between the two of us. So maybe one. That was. We were definitely dehydrated. Um, it was an experience for sure. I don't know if I would recommend it, but like it was a fun like cultural experience, and it was the cheapest way for us to get from Jaipur to Mumbai. Got to experience a little bit more of the local culture. And so for that, I would recommend it. The next time we go, we'll have to make sure to plan ahead and book some train tickets so we can actually experience the train. Yes, I definitely want to experience the train. And they also do have really affordable flights between each city if you book it far enough in advance. Obviously, we were just booking it like, hey, we want to leave in two days, and it wasn't a good, good price. So join us in the next video as we explore Mumbai. See ya.